Hope, and this is my friend Tori. Hi everyone, I'm so happy to be with you today. Tori, why don't you tell us all something about yourself? Well, I'm a college student and I really love to sing. Tori and I are so excited that you're all here with us today, and we have been learning about some crazy things that Jesus has been doing. So we learned about how he calmed a big storm, how he fed over 5,000 people with just a little bit of food, and even how he walked on water. And we've also been memorizing a Bible verse that says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And today we're going to learn even more about Jesus. But first we're going to play a fun game. Today we are going to play Spot the Difference. Tori and I are going to change something about our appearance, like our hair or our clothing ad or change something, and it's your job to spot what has changed about our appearance. Are you ready? Take a good look at what we look like now. Okay, let's get started. All right, PG kids, can you guess what Tori has changed about her appearance? You got it! Tori is wearing a pink fanny pack. Okay, now it's my turn. Ooh, this is a hard one. Can you guys figure out what Hope changed about her appearance? That's right, she has sunglasses on her head. Great job. All right, guys, take a good look. What has Tori changed about her appearance? Hmm, maybe her hair? No, that's not it. Hmm, can you all figure it out? Oh, of course! Tori has a bunch of bracelets on her wrist! Wow. Alright guys, we're gonna do one more. You guys are gonna have to help me with this one. Do you guys have any ideas about what Hope changed about her appearance? Wow, you got it! She's wearing a belt! That was so much fun and you all got really good at it. You know, some of those changes were a little bit hard to recognize. And today, we're going to hear about a time where Jesus' disciples saw his appearance change in a really big way. Let's watch the video. One day, Jesus led three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, up on a high mountain to pray. The disciples fell fast asleep. As Jesus prayed, his appearance suddenly changed. His face was shining like the sun, and his clothes were as white as the light. The disciples woke up and saw Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. Peter said, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you want, I will set up three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While Peter was still speaking, a bright cloud suddenly covered them. A voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. The disciples heard this and fell face down. They were terrified. Jesus came up and touched them. Get up, he said. Don't be afraid. When the disciples looked up, they did not see Moses or Elijah anymore. They only saw Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus said to them, Don't tell anyone what you saw until the Son of Man is raised from the dead. The disciples did not tell anyone, but they wondered what Jesus meant. They asked him, Why do the scribes say that Elijah must come before the Messiah comes? Jesus explained that Elijah had already come. That is, a prophet like Elijah had come. The people did not recognize him as a prophet and they mistreated him. Jesus said, in the same way, the Son of Man is going to suffer at their hands. Then the disciples realized Jesus was talking about John the Baptist. Jesus showed his glory to Peter, James, and John. Jesus said he would die, rise from the dead, and return to heaven. One day, Jesus will come back to earth in his glory to make all things new. 
Wow, that is such a cool story. I bet Peter, James, and John were so surprised to see Jesus' appearance change like that. They knew Jesus was a great teacher and healer. In this moment, they saw him as God, full of glory. I bet they were. In the Bible, it actually says that Jesus' clothing was whiter than any person could get them, as much or no matter how they washed them. But Jesus' glory is more than just a light. His glory is kind of like a combination of all of the great and wonderful things about him. His goodness, his love, his power. And when Peter, James, and John saw Jesus in his glory, they saw who Jesus really is more clearly than they ever had before. That Jesus is more than just a good man or a wise teacher. He's the Son of God, the King of Kings, the Creator of everything. And our Christ Connection talks about this today too. Let's take a look. Jesus showed his glory to Peter, James, and John. Jesus said he would die, rise from the dead, and return to heaven. One day Jesus will come back to earth in his glory to make all things new. One way that we can glorify God is by telling other people about him or living in a way that shows Jesus to the people around us. In our story, Jesus showed his glory, and it shone as bright as the sun. And when we believe the truth of the gospel, it transforms our lives so that we can be light in this world. But how brightly we shine depends a lot on how much time we spend with the person who gives us that light, Jesus. We can do this by spending time in our Bible or praying, and today, we are actually going to sing a song that reminds us of this. And Tori is going to lead us in that. Today, we're going to sing a song called This Little Light of Mine. So get up on your feet and sing along with me. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Great. Thank you for leading us in that song, Tori. And today, if you want to go deeper into today's lesson, we have some discussion questions for you to discuss at home with friends or family. What do you think the disciples realized about Jesus after they saw him changed? How should we respond to Jesus? What are some ways that we can let our light shine to those around us? Now, let's pray together. Jesus, we thank you for who you are and all that you've given us, and we pray that you would help us to glorify you and be lights in this world. We love you, and we pray this all in your name. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us this week for PAG Kids Online, and make sure that if you sing the This Little Light of Mine song at home, that you send us a video of you singing it so that we can show it next week. Bye!